Hey guys, in today's video I'm uh, not going to review our new Tesla, but I'm, I'm going to accessorize it instead. I got a bunch of accessories, they all managed to fit in the booth because it, Tesla Model 3 has a massive boot. So yeah, I got a few things here and because of enough cargo there are also things here. Lovely. And because we have Frank, I also got a few things in here. All right, so in this box, we've got the Spiegel. Most of the, the, these things are Spiegel just because I watched other reviews and everyone's saying they are good. So we'll see, I guess. So this is the screen protector for the for the large screen. This is a screen protector for the small screen, even though it does look like a generic one here. Hope you can see it. Uh, like it doesn't really show the Tesla rear screen, but let's you know let's hope it's gonna fit. Then there is an organizer for the center console, where I can you can put all your stuff. By the way, this video, hey, this video is not sponsored by Spiegel. Uh, I bought it all for my own, for my own money. Uh, these are the, the lifting jack spots because you can't simply lift Tesla as you do normal cars. Obviously, I'm not going to install these today because we don't need to jack up this Tesla. But yeah, I also got those just in case, but we can have a look what's in the box. That's it. Where was I before we got rudely interrupted? Right, so on the back seat, I have uh, mats for the rear booth. So that's this. I think everyone needs those because unless you're not carrying anything in the booty, it's gonna get disgusting. I have no idea what's in here, but we'll we'll have a look. This is the another front trunk mat cargo liner Tesla Model 3 2024. So this is for the for the frunk or front trunk, as they call it. And the big box are the floor mats. So you got the full sets of floor mats, rear, front, and the side things. Don't know what they're called. Let's get into unboxing. So let's get the rear booth box open first. All right. You can see the pristine unboxing experience. Plastic free, very ecological. As you can see, the, the actual boot is covered in this typical like a carpet thing material. We got the car a few days ago and it's already getting dirty, even though I haven't carried anything in it. So let's get this one in. Which one is the way up? Which one is the way down? I guess like, nope, completely wrong. I guess like this. Doesn't exactly scream premium, does it? What do you think? But you know, you can still open the sub trunk, no problem, and it should protect the carpets from getting disgusting within a few days. Okay, so that was the first thing. Now we have this one here. I don't know what's in it. Let me get my knife. I have just a tool for that. So this here is a rear trunk well storage mat cargo liner for this one. So it goes underneath the actual trunk area. And I suppose it's gonna be the same as the one before, just a bit smaller. Yep, same material, same thickness. You can see a little Spiegel logo there. Got some cables here and this. So perfect, snack fit. Love it. Protection is important, kids. Remember that. So we got this. This is unboxed. This is unboxed. Oh no, no, this is not unboxed. What am I doing? There's still stuff in it. So this is for the frunk. Yep, just like the other two. Same material. 
same finish. Yeah, this one can get dirty very quickly. So if you put this here, it already looks better. And if you put some dirty shoes in there or something you don't want to carry in a boot ca in a cargo area, this will be perfect for that. Okay, so now what we have left are the carpets because the carpets you get with the Tesla Model 3 uh, are just these carpets. I mean, they're, I mean, they're all right, but as you can see, they're very flimsy, very thin. They don't have any water protection. Uh, you can get mad at them very quickly and they're just not gonna do a good job, especially in the winter time. But luckily, we have these. Plastic free packaging, Protect Ocean. All right. I don't know which one is which, so we gotta figure it out. I think this one is for the passenger. Oi. This one is for the passenger, this one's gonna be for the rear bit. So this one should be for the driver. Yep, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, all the crap can go in here, and then you can just you know, pour it out or clean it real quickly. Thanks to this texture here, it will get gripped at the bottom carpet that's in the car already. So let's put that in. Yeah, that feels good. That's already much better than the standard format. Much better. Now let's get the middle one. And because it's a EV, as many of you know, there's no bump in the middle, like you have with the ICE cars, when there's a transmission or drivetrain. Uh, so the middle is perfectly flat. And what you got in a car from factory is this. Again, not bad, better than nothing, but still, not ideal. So let's put this one in. It's a long boy. Ugh. Ugh. Woo. Get in there. Ugh. 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 Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ugh. That was super easy. Have a look. Fits pretty well. And you don't need to be worried about your rear passengers, your car and he rides. Now let's get the passenger side on. I think it's you know same story as the one for the driver. But my girlfriend, I have to tell you guys, don't tell her, but she can really like knock around the car with her feet. She's like, oh, it wasn't me. Like, yeah. So this is gonna be just perfect for her. Already, her side is dirtier than mine. How is that even possible? Look at this. Yeah, they will show her. I mean, the fit isn't ideal here. If you look here. You're gonna get some dirt falling in there, which is far from ideal. I'm not sure how it was designed. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And now we have the side bits. So you got the side bits for the central console, which I don't think I'm gonna put on, but I, we can have a look what they look like. Those are those side bits that you're supposed to put there on the side of the console to kind of protect it from you kicking it, or you know, it has kind of like this carbon fiber texture, more like carbon fiber from Temu. But, yeah, it's still pretty good. It's like rubberized, finished, but I don't think I'm gonna put those on. Maybe I will um, for some B-rolls to show you how it looks like, guys, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that now. Let's get to smaller bits. So we have some organizers for the center console. So this is the organizer for center console, because if you can see right now, it's pretty deep and you just throw stuff in it and they disappear forever. I got my keys here, I got the PS5 controller. Uh, here are the cup holders, but obviously we can get also some rubberized stuff here, but I don't really like it, so I don't get that. And here, like this goes all the way there, and it's not just, it's just not well organized in my opinion. So I got this for armrest console organizer, so that's for that bit there. Maybe I'll get one for this bit as well in the future. Ooh, and more plastic. Yay, who would have thought? Okay, it's not bad. Quality is not bad at all. Some rubberized thingy on the bottom. And this is for the USB-C cable, I suppose. So let's put it in. Okay. There you go. And now we've got two stories. Like double layer, what do you call it? <laughs> Storage. So you can put your PS5 controller there. And here you can put your keys. And the 
control for a gate and maybe USB-C cable, whatever you have, with all the junk there and it's just a little more organized. Yeah, I do like this one. I do like this one, adds practicality to the center console. So I'm definitely gonna get something for this bit as well, uh, because I do like it. Now we have these lifting jack pads, which I'm not gonna use today, obviously, but I can show you what they look like. So yeah, speaking overall, I have to say the build quality of the products is decent, above average. Yeah, but the packaging, they could use some paper and just non-plastic materials, to be honest. Again, plastic, more plastic, Jesus Christ. Okay, so it comes in this carbon fiber pouch. Spigen logo there. Looks like a huge aftermarket earphones or something. Where's the zipper? How do you... Oh, it's a magnet. I do like that. And these are the thingies. Logo at the top, not much to say about it. All rubberized, feels like a hockey puck. I'm gonna keep that in the car just in case. I need to get jacked up, so I'm gonna put that in the rear frunk. We're gonna move a bit before another car and comes in and starts screaming at us for no reason. She thought we were throwing the trash away. We were just doing an unboxing. Come on, lady. Anyways, here we are, next to our rubbish. And what we're gonna do now is, shut up. We're gonna apply the screen protector now. First, we're gonna apply the front screen protector. This is the biggest screen protector I ever applied. The biggest one before was the iPad screen protector, I believe. Uh, uh, so it says easy, perfect, with tray. So that's this alignment thingy that should help us. Uh, it should be easy even for people like me. It says real glass. Delicate touch, all right. Easy installation and surface hardness, nine H, whatever that means. Yeah, 15.4 inch screen. Now, if you look here, we still have the original screen protector here from the factory. I haven't removed it, but now what I need to do is I need to lock the screen. Now, to actually don't touch anything accidentally. So, you ready for this? So there it is, the biggest screen protector I ever, I ever applied. Toolkit, comes with its own toolkit. No idea what's gonna, what we're gonna do here. Oh yeah, luckily we don't need to watch video. We need to turn off the AC, it says. Don't judge me guys, I'm still learning my way around the car. Right, we got the AC off. You're supposed to use the cleaning wipe to wipe the screen, then use the dust removal to remove the dust, just like on phone screen protector. And then we need to be aware of distance between wheel and screen. What? By the way, in manual, Tesla says do not use any screen protectors uh, for safety reasons. If you get some cheap ones or, you know, if they get wrong, obviously this is your only way to control the, the car uh, or most features in the car. So it must make sense. And this is why we are installing screen protector in our cars. Let's give it a good wipe. Do final cleaning, but I can see a lot of dust particles on it, so hopefully I'll be able to get rid of that, otherwise we'll end up with some big bubbles. And there's nothing worse than bubble underneath the screen protector. Right, quickly removing the top thingy here. And now aligning the nick with the screen. There we go. Press and slide, press and slide. Wait 30 seconds. Remove here after 30 seconds. Oh, I can see bubbles. Oh, geez. I can see so many bubbles. I'm gonna remove this. It has a nice matte finish. And now with the big squeegee, I'm gonna try to get rid of big bubbles from my experience from phones and iPads that they disappear overnight. Uh, sometimes you have a particle underneath, you'll never get rid of it and it's going to frustrate you and then you're going to buy a new one, new screen protector and just remove it. Right, now we're going to exit the cleaning mode to see what it looks like. Should be better, should be diffusing reflection a bit more. Ah, it does look better. I can already see more even with, under the direct sunlight. What do you think, guys? And it does feel smooth, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, like it's matte on a touch. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's move to the rear seat. Right, welcome to the rear seat. Now we're gonna repeat the same process here on this small uh, rear screen. 
You only get this in S class and Tesla. <laughs> This is anti glare, but again, there's a generic car here. There's no Tesla here, uh, but hopefully it's gonna fit because I ordered it specifically for this car. Let's see. Okay. Oh no, there's no alignment tool. This is gonna be on us to align. Just like before, we go here, we go in a clean mode, and now the touch is disabled. No, oh, no, there's a screen protector. Hey. Hope someone's watching from outside. The horror car is rocking. <laughs> yeah, boy. I don't know if, actually, guys, if anyone's gonna use this for watching YouTube or Netflix while sitting back here because it's so low. Like, I understand if you get screens up here, it's, it's much easier if you get screens up here. But if you are sitting here and you're supposed to stare down there while we're being driven, I mean, I guess it's doable, but it's not. So ideal. Okay, so I guess we guys are gonna remove the back bit and apply it on. Perfect as possible. And how is your Saturday? These pockets are also different in, in Highland. Let me walk you through this car while we wait. There's a hook here. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we can remove this bit. And we have a huge bubble at the bottom. No, no. And at the top as well. And that's it. This one was much easier than the front one. And I don't see any bubbles. Yeah, we're done. We can play games here. We can do whatever. Okay guys, so that's it for this video, how you, I can't even speak. Okay guys, so that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. It wasn't like a typical scripted video, we just want to show you around our, our new car and the accessories we bought for it as first. I actually got all these accessories before we got the car delivered, uh, and then now we put it on and I'm gonna let you know in a few weeks how it's holding up, whether I'm happy with it. Again, this is not sponsored by Spiegel, we just happened to got Spiegel stuff because they have good reviews and every other Tesla re re reviewer is saying it's it's a good stuff. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, you can expect more Tesla Model 3 content here on the channel. Let me know what would you like me to, to test, what would you like to see. And yeah, I guess that's that. I'll see you next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you.